so next up we have from New York Alara and when you watch it pay attention to how she moves to the music then change of the music and I uh, hope you enjoy it Alara teaches for the Dope Continuing Education Program in Fishkill and Brewston, New York and in Danbury, Connecticut. With a round of applause, please welcome Alara! <laughs>
think Alara really had a great smile, and she also did a good job using all of the floor space and really, mm -hmm. you know, you so your eye isn't just like staring at one spot. You know, you kind of moved with her. She moved around the floor. Right. She had the tension of, of the audience all the time. And also, I um, saw that she moved to the music really well because you see she the did. music change. It's faster and then it's slower. Uh, she really um, worked very well with mm -hmm. the music and she really moved yeah. to the music. And, and that's a big characteristic of Middle Eastern music. Um, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of Western music, you have one rhythm throughout the entire song, whereas with traditional Middle Eastern music, the rhythms actually change. Changing and one of the, the things that, you know, our teacher teaches us the names of the different rhythms, the maksum, the shift to telly, mm -hmm. and, and so on. There's um, so many vari variations. Um, yeah, sometimes you don't know what's coming up, but once you hear the change of music, you're going to make some changes in your dance to go with the music. Exactly. So it's, it, it, it's some improvise going on there. Um, so, yep, you definitely have to pay attention to the music and know the rhythm well.